Hey guys, it's Captain Forest here, and today I'm so excited to be going over this matchup. Today I have Ryu from Street Fighter versus Cyclops from Marvel 616 and the leader of the X-Men. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going over both combatants. The stats will be equalized, so AP speed durability, um, no amps will be included, so it'll just be based off whatever skills, intelligence, strategy, and any other miscellaneous abilities they may have to help them pull out a victory in today's matchup. Now, before I start this, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, check out the Coffee Shop Gang, they make awesome content. Those links will be in the description. Also, shouts to HQ Squad, uh, massive shouts to Coin O'Keefe and everyone else. We actually talked about this matchup in VC, and it was very tough, and I hope you guys like the layout and what we have kind of come up with our own interpretations for both combatants but shout out to the HQ squad for that and also my support links are in the description so yeah let's get right let's get right to meet potatoes the things so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Ryu and I'll talk about Cyclops afterwards so let's go over what Ryu brings to the table in terms of skill so Ryu has mastered the ancient art of Anatsuken uh, Ryu has also fought and defeated Seth who has all the combat data and abilities of every single martial artist in the series and Seth also has absorbed countless amounts of combat data and has accumulated knowledge equivalent to hundreds of fighters um, and also I will be including comics too just to let you guys know I'll be including comics um, so it's kind of like a composite in a way and Ryu was able to fight on par with Akuma and he was able to get the upper hand in skill. He's actually defeated Akuma as well. Uh, the same Akuma has transcended all forms of martial arts. And with this level of skill, Ryu scales above a lot of other characters who are experts, if not masters, at their own respective fighting styles. Now, let's work our way up and talk about the powers and abilities of what Ryu possesses. Um, Ryu can also smell your killing intent and, and the presence of Kage such as smelling his bloodlust and Kage is literally just a shadow so Ryu has some really good awareness even in base he has some really good awareness Ryu also has precognition his mind's eye allows him to anticipate attacks and parry them and then follow up with a counter attack if Ryu is able to use energy absorption uh, he can absorb chi he can absorb the Satsui no Hado, which is very impressive uh, Ryu can also throw out his Hadoukens which are physical spiritual and mental Ryu can manipulate the changes um, in the like his elemental attacks he can change the uh, elements in his chi attacks so he can use lightning hadoukens and he can also throw out fire hadoukens too and as mentioned above chi in street fighter is physical spiritual and mental in nature which was stated by seth of course and also shown to and chi um, users in street fighter have passive sensory so they can pretty much sense like a power level of someone if they have chi which is pretty good Akuma also states that Ryu's Chi control has grown, showing that Ryu has mastered his control over Chi, and Ryu can tell and sense if someone has Chi within their body as Ryu recognized that Guile literally was a fake and was soulless and had no Chi. So let's talk about Evil Ryu. Now by giving his Satsui no Hado he gains different powers, such as the Raging Demon, which attacks the soul, it also BFRs it too, which is very impressive. The Satsui no Hado also gives the user the ability to teleport. So he would also be able to use a demon teleportation too. So moving on. So pretty much I'm going to talk about the power of nothingness. Which is another form that he has. Which is really impressive. Now the power of nothingness gives Ryu an in-tuned level of instinctive reaction and cosmic awareness. As it states that the power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective. Born through spiritual and mental refinement. Bearing common traits with uh, with states being of with, within the Buddhism, martial arts, and spiritual perfection, it is the power to to act without being attached to emotion and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego, to draw upon the contents of one's heart intuitively, without obstacle or hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within its vastness to flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, or doubt. So it's like a state of oneness. It's kind of like the uh, Master Ultra Instinct in a way. So that's very impressive for the 
the power of nothingness. Uh, with the power of nothingness, Ryu's able to do like crazy stuff with his uh, with his chi. He has like time manipulation. Uh, in the power of nothingness state, he can freeze time around his opponents uh, by throwing um, a Hadouken at them. He can even fr freeze them in it too. He can also power and stun and incapacitate his foe uh, to follow up with a finishing blow. And lastly, onto his dual transformation, which is Shin Ryu. So Ryu mastered both dualities of the Satsu and Ahado and Power of Nothingness so much so that he made Akuma, who is more experienced in using the Satsui no Hado at the time, look like a complete joke. Essentially, he merged the Satsui no Hado and the Power of Nothingness into his base, kind of like what Goku did in Dragon Ball with the God with the God Key, which is very impressive. And in this form, Ryu can use his dual killing technique to destroy his opponent's soul and be a farit, as he did to Gil. Ryu can also tap into this form whenever he wants, which is very impressive. Now, once Ryu mastered both dualities, Ryu can use any of the abilities that the Power of Nothingness or the Satsui no Hado contain uh, with becoming a part of Ryu's base, uh, such as the teleportation technique, so he can use that um, with the Shin Ryu uh, form. So he can use like both abilities um, simultaneously, which is very impressive. And lastly, Ryu can also create Chi barriers as well to block out attacks. So that's going to round up Ryu, as mentioned, uh, these this this Ryu will be comp, so he will include stuff from comics and stuff from the games too. I'm going to go ahead and move on and talk about the leader of the X-Men himself, Cyclops, Scott Summers. So Cyclops, uh, he can control the potency of his optic blast. He can fire at a low frequency, a mild frequency, and a full powered one, which is more amplified and destructive, but it makes him a bit tired. Uh, Cyclops can also increase the range and the radius of his optic blast to create a widespread to tag multiple enemies and he can perform an, like an, area, an area of effect with a full powered optic blast if need be. A Cyclops can also use his optic blast as a shield to spread out his optic blast to cancel out two beams that were fired from Go Grotesque's gem. Cyclops' optic blast can disintegrate objects. It's even stated that he has the range advantage in most situations as the optic blast can reach around 270 uh, plus meters which is pretty far that's very impressive his blasts can also blind you if you're too close to him he can also bfr people and objects by blasting the ground causing uh, the force back from the beam to blast you away uh, cyclops can also deflect objects with his optic blast and it's also been stated by beast that cyclops is the master of the optic arts and Gene notes that the X-Men have perfected their powers, so, which is very impressive for Cyclops in terms of skill. Um, he's very skilled with his mutant ability. He's an absolute master at it. Uh, Cyclops has demonstrated a ton of remarkable accuracy feats and skill with his optic blast, such as ricocheting his opponent's blast to take out his foes. He can also split his beams to pressure and tag multiple opponents. Uh, Cyclops is able to skillfully disarm his opponents with his optic blast. He did it to Thor, causing Mjolnir to bounce out of his hand and clap Iron Man in the head. And he's able to literally tag an airborne foe by ricocheting his shot from another person. And even when Magneto reflected the blast from Cyclops, it still tags him. So Cyclops is just that many steps ahead of, um, ahead of his opponents, which is very impressive. And Cyclops can also position his optic blast to hit things on a microscopic level, and he can also use his optic blast tactically to get his f foes off guard by blasting machine behind Grotesque, which blows up and tags him. Cyclops can also use his optic blast to launch himself away from harm's way, and he can also use his optic blast like telekinesis too. And constantly, Cyclops is improving his optic blast against moving targets per week by 4%. A Cyclops can also propel himself from the ground. He's demonstrated really masterful control with his optic blast and his pinpoint precision is so insane he was able to precisely shoot through a small crack into the ruby armor causing it to ricochet and hit the guy wearing it despite the fact that the ruby armor completely nullifies uh, his optic blast and even while drunk uh, Cyclops' accuracy uh, is still on par, it's still good. He's still able to tag uh, a glass ball in the air. Uh, Cyclops um, will target vital areas 
with his optic blast so he will target vulnerable areas he also has info analysis in his own own right which i'll talk more about uh, cyclops can also blast a hole in the ground cause you to fall he made juggernaut fall into the ground as well he's also shown incredible acrobatics along with impressive accuracy skills with optic blast uh, he also notes that his optic blast gets stronger over the years so he can use his like optic blast for longer so let's move on to Cyclops' gear. Now, if Cyclops cannot physically activate his visor, Cyclops can activate a button on his glove, which opens up his visor, allowing him to shoot out his optic blast. He also carries some ruby quark contact lenses in emergencies. And if his visor is stolen or compromised, he also carries a pair of ruby quark glasses to help control and regulate his optic blast. Uh, Cyclops is very smart, very uh, strategic, and very tactical in combat. Cyclops is always anal analyzing and observing his opponent's uh, power and capabilities while at the same time calculating and coming up with ways to defeat them in combat. Cyclops also has precognition. He's able to stay a step ahead of a dinosaur and he can also operate on instincts too. Uh, Jean and Wolverine have noted that Cyclops remains calm and stoic and never panics in tough situations. So he's a very strong leader, has great leadership skills, and he's a very competent fighter. So that's going to round up Cyclops. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this fight and break it down. So, now, on paper, you're probably thinking, how will this fight go down? It's actually pretty interesting. So first off, Cyclops, um, yeah, at first glance on paper, he looks like he has the range advantage, but he actually necessarily doesn't. Um, Ryu does have his own projectiles too, let's not forget that, he has his Hadoukens. He can also throw Hadoukens too to counteract the Optic Blast. Uh, Ryu can also teleport to close the distance. Um, his power of nothingness, especially his Shin, uh, like his Shin Ryu form, where he has both dual powers of Satsui no Hado and the power of nothingness, and his sense of awareness and oneness is far more, um, it's just more in tune than like normal senses like normal precog and normal instinctive reaction um yes that's good for cyclops that he has that but i don't think that's going to be enough and yes cyclops is a master with his optic blast that could be a problem too if he goes for trick shots but re himself is a master at martial arts too and awareness his awareness will help him avoid uh these the optic blast it would also help him get around any of Cyclops's little mind games or trick shots or ricochet so he could just simply use his awareness to avoid these attacks and of course teleport closer now if he gets up close he's gonna beat the living hell out of Cyclops Cyclops just doesn't have any physical skills um, that can help him in a like close-up like, like in a close-up confrontation so Ryu would be able to defeat uh, Cyclops in skill pretty easily. Sure, you can um, Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki Senpukan. Uh, chi attacks would be a problem. Now, yes, uh, Cyclops has taken a Chi attack before. He does have resistance to those type of things. But really and truly, it doesn't matter at this point. If he's getting bombarded with attacks, especially um, by a Shoryuken. Or if he's getting attacked as well. Uh, with the Raging Demon, he could also perform that too to just be a far um, Cyclops away, which could be a problem. I just think that Ryu has a lot more working for him in combat. His Haxes are just way too much. His level of awareness just transcends what Cyclops can do in terms of his awareness. And I think he'd be able to just pretty much get one over on Cyclops pretty easily. So I think... Ryu would take victory more often than not. I have to give victory to Ryu in this fight. I'd say with at least mid difficulty. I do think that Cyclops does have what it takes to win. Um, like if it was like unequal stats. Because power difference. Uh, Ryu does have his chi barriers too. So it's just there's just nothing Cyclops can do. There's, there's just too many counters that Ryu has. He could just use chi barrier push through it teleport get get him off guard and then just beat him in skill so yeah that's my thoughts at least let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next one